chemical research come the thousands of products that contribute to better living. The DuPont Company, maker of better things for better living through chemistry, presents the DuPont Cavalcade Theater, dramatic stories of people who are a part of the Cavalcade of America. This is the province of Normandy in France. Once the site of the world's greatest armed invasion, now a land of peace and abundance. San Lo, a town in Normandy that emerged from its own ruins. Each year when the warmth of the summer sun finds its way to the village, the people of San Lo remember another summer, the summer of the Great War. There is talk of the American soldier to whom they erected a statue a tribute to all American soldiers whose courage and spirit was responsible for the liberation of their town. They call him the Major of San Lo. It started at 6.30 a.m. on June 6, 1944, off the beaches of Normandy. 4,000 troop transports, 800 warships, 11,000 airplanes, and most important of all, thousands upon thousands of men. The world watched, prayed. A new vocabulary was born. Omaha and Utah Beach, Hedgerow. And the most talked about word of all, San Lo, the first destination on the road to victory. Up the mail and be right back. And ask the general what he'd like the third battalion to bring you from St. Lo. General Gerhardt, I hear the Germans' control of San Lo is holding up the war. Is that possible? Well, it's holding up a big part of it. You see, San Lo is the key to all of France. It's the terminus of the hedgerow country. But beyond San Lo are broad sweeping plains with wide highways and clear farmlands, which will allow our convoys of mechanized equipment a chance to fan out across the entire continent. We're trapped in this hedgerow country. And the Germans realize that they got the entire invasion block if we can't break through. That's why they got their best troops there with orders to stand fast. Because once we do break out of this bottleneck, the jig's up and the German high command knows it. In other words, San Lo is like the cork of a bottle. Exactly. And it's our job to pull that cork. Well, General, I'm new over here. Uh, what are these hedgerows everybody's talking about? Well, there's no one better qualified to answer that than our battalion commanders. One of them's here now. This is Major Howey, the 116th Infantry Regiment. Major? Yes, sir. Good morning, gentlemen. Well, how can I best explain it? I suppose you were taking a drive from New York to Chicago. Only every 50 yards along the way, there was a mound of earth up to 10 feet high with trees and shrubs growing out of it. And if you decided to take a look over that mound, there was a guy with a machine gun waiting to blow your head off. Well, the chances are you wouldn't get to Chicago. But we've got to get to San Lo. General Cota, hasn't your mechanized stuff been able to find some way around those hedgerows? No. Normandy's laced with them. Aerial maps show as many as 3,900 in an eight square mile area. They're foliage-covered dikes for the farmlands, ready-made for gun emplacements or concealed strong points. The hedgerow, gentlemen, is an invention of the devil to beat the soldier to death. And what's the 29th going to do? Bleed and win. Thank you, sir. Thank you. General Porter, I want to talk to you. <coughs> How's it going, Tom? Sit down. Not good, sir. Enemy artillery's been plastering us. The 3rd Battalion's down to 420 combat effectives. First Army Headquarters reports that units of three German divisions are headed towards San Luis reinforcements. We've got to get our mechanized stuff through before they get there. Tom, the capture of San Lo means that the breakout can begin. Are we making another push tonight? I'm sending up the 1st and 2nd Battalion. Your 3rd Battalion will consolidate and stand by. Mm -hmm. You're pretty tired, aren't you? No, who isn't, General? Now, you've been pushing awful hard. Harder than the Army's got a right to expect. I only know one way to fight. 
Your kind of fighting uses a man up pretty fast. You were offered a job in G3 at headquarters. Why didn't you take it? I got a lot of men up front, sir. I worry less when I'm with them. I could order you back. Well, I hope you won't, sir. Well, then come up with a good reason. I can't be too concerned about you being a mother hen. General, it's no secret that San Lo is the key to the success of the whole invasion. Well, ever since we hit the beach, the 3rd Battalion's been headed there, and we're so close now we can almost spit into the square. We feel we deserve that piece of real estate, General. And I've told my men I'm going to take them there. Go over and see Captain Burroughs. He's got some G2 reports for you. Yes, sir. Oh, and uh, I'll see you in San Lo, sir. Sergeant, you with the 3rd Battalion? That's right, sir. Sergeant Chackle. I was wondering if I might get a lift. I'm a replacement for your outfit. The name's Morgan, Eldon Monk Morgan. Uh, glad to have you, Lieutenant. Eldon what? Eldon Monk Morgan. Oh. You waiting for somebody? Yes, sir. The battalion commander. Boy, I sure picked myself a ride. Uh, you got nothing to worry, Lieutenant. The Major likes second lieutenants. There's nobody gives such special attention to, oh, uh, except the Germans. For them, he uses gestures. But on the day we hit the beach, a German machine gun nest. <laughs> he cools it all by himself. Oh, uh, got something to tell you, Lieutenant. No helmet, no grenades, but you're practically out of uniform. And there's nothing the Major hates worse. Major Howie? The lieutenant here is a replacement. Lieutenant Eldon Monk Morgan. Lieutenant? Chiaco, I think we... Yeah. Eldon what? Eldon Monk Morgan, sir. Where'd you get your training, Lieutenant? Fort Benning, sir. So did I, but I don't remember them teaching infantry to wear overseas caps in a combat area. I didn't think... How that... about this battle harness? These clips are for grenades. Thought I waited to get, get the battle line, sir. The battle line is right up there, and there's no sign saying so. When you need a grenade, soldier, you need one. Are you ready to roll? Yes, sir. Let's go. Here's your mail, Major. From your wife. Uh, looks like. Oh. Awfully good to have you with us, Lieutenant. Eldon Monk Morgan, Captain Bill Bundy, our executive officer. Eldon what? Morgan, sir. Eldon Monk Morgan. He's taking over a platoon of Al Company. How's it been going? Major, I Company reports heavy mortar fire. They're evacuating casualties. They request replacements. What replacements? Tom, it's been murder all along the line. They've been plastering us all day long. Well, tell them to dig in and hold. We're attacking soon. Right. Here's our furthest point of advance, some 70 yards. Big day's work, huh? Yeah, great. In the main line of resistance, only one field away. Morgan? Here's the area where your company is. What's left of it? It's down to 25% of normal strength. Beg pardon, Major. Hmm? What's this? Well, some of us guys figure that since you're going to be the first soldier into San Lo, you ought to have a new pair of shoes. Impress the natives, you know? <laughs> wow, well, looks like about an 11 E. Uh, the Major's got square feet. <laughs> Morgan, I'll take you over to your company. Tom, there's no sense you taking any unnecessary risks. Any way I can find my own way, sir. Well, that's a very brave attitude, but it makes for dead lieutenants. Those fields are lousy with German paratroopers. Come on, let's get you the necessary equipment. Uh, nothing to worry about, Captain. I'll go along and look after both of them. You guys trying to get yourself shot full of holes, sneaking up like that? We we'll expect to find you guys in my company away. 
Oh, you're cute. For two cents, I'd... Tell it to the Major. Where can we find L Company's command post? Uh, sir, it should be two fields on our flank. Such talk. And to the battalion commander. Oh. Looks like we found him. Is that L Company? Yeah, over here. Over here. Now listen, Morgan. When Chiaco cuts loose, you dig out along the bottom of this hedgerow. That L Company will be out there about 70 yards. Chiaco, two-man emplacement, 20 yards out. I'll give you the signal. Okay, Major. That's my Major. These are men from the L Company, sir. All right, then you're home. They'll take you to your platoon. Uh, just one word of advice, Morgan. Listen to your first sergeant. He'll keep you alive. Yes, sir. By the way, how long have you been over here? I left the States ten days ago, sir. you get him. Major, don't never look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Tom, call from Richmond. Huh? General Gerhardt's on his way down there. I want you to meet him there right away. Now, you know something? You do have square feet. <laughs> Here I go. So Bingham's 2nd Battalion got off to a running start and made it to La Madeleine all right, but the Germans closed in behind. The 3rd Battalion's to join him, hold the position. While the second moves into San Lo. Second's going into San Lo? I, I know, Tom. Everybody expected your gang to go in first, but by the time you cut through to La Madeleine, I don't think your boys can stand the extra gap. Very well, sir. I want you to spring the second by dawn tomorrow. Now, how you do it is up to you. What is it? No. Oh, I was just looking at my new boots, sir. I know what you men have been through, and I know our losses have been heavy. But the 2nd Battalion's in trouble, and we've got to get them out. There's a lot of Germans between here and the Madeline. That's right, and that's our job to cut through. Sir, if we get through, then do we go on to San Lo? No. That's been assigned to the 2nd Battalion. What do you mean, the 2nd? Everybody knows that San Lo is our baby. Bill, this is a war, not a foot race. Well, we've been trying for days to push in on the Madeline. Sir, how can we do it now? We'll do it with surprise, with rapid movement, and a lot of luck. We'll do it with this. My darling, your letter of June 18th came today, and I am so grateful you are well. It seems impossible that 19 months have gone by since Sally and I have seen you. Perhaps that is because you've never left us. Not really. For the two of us, to have had you as husband and father is our greatest blessing. The planning for your return, our greatest pleasure. Now about the book. It's a gift from some of your students at Stanton. Sorry to disturb you, Tom, but it's 0400. No. That's all right. I can finish this later. The wife? Mm-hmm. Well, she sent this along with it. Some of my students at Stanton Military Academy bought it for me. Spoon River Anthology. By Edgar Lee Masters. Mm-hmm. Here, listen to this. These are the ghosts from the desolate coasts. Would you go to them? Only pursue them. Whatever enshrined is within you is you. In a place where no wind is. You know, you're about the biggest enigma that I've ever run up against. Mm -hmm. From school teacher who likes dreamy poetry to destruction in new boots. Well, there are some things you do because you like to. Others because you have to. Do 
You checked personnel? Yeah, I just finished. Are they nervous about using bayonets? Not as long as you're with them. Whatever you've got, Major, those guys can use. Possible that 19 months have gone by since Sally and I have seen you. Perhaps that is because you've never left us. Not really. Major Howie, oh, we're in fair shape, sir. No, not good, sir. They've taken a bad beating the past 30 hours. Major Bingham says they couldn't push on. What about our outfit? Yes, sir. Right, sir. See you in San Lowe. We're going in, Bill. We'll have air support and General Cotis forming an armored column at Couvain. They're ready when we are. Looks like I'll have a chance to use these new boots after all. Guess what's left of that town always was your real estate. The Germans wised up. Here comes the big stuff. Come on, Bill. Let's notify the men that we're going in. Get 
report this morning. The last thing he said was that he'd see us at San Lo. With God as my witness, he shall. Major Howe is leading the 29th in. Carry on. Yes, sir. to San Lo. Behind him tramped what was left of his battalion. Boys turned into veterans, veterans with a score to settle. For the Major, thus achieving his purpose, thus carrying out his orders, thus leaving to those who loved him a heritage of pride that will outlast their grief. Major Thomas D. Howey, 3rd Battalion, 116th Infantry, 29th Division, lies at rest between a private and a general in the American cemetery overlooking Omaha Beach. These are the ghosts from the desolate coasts. Would you go to them, only pursue them. Whatever enshrined is within you, is you.
Tonight, the DuPont Theater ends another season on this station. Watch your local program listings for news of an exciting new series of live 90-minute plays and musicals to be brought to you by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware, makers of better things for better living through chemistry.